So let's go ahead and get this magnetic box open. And right on top, we have the mini PC and the manual. We've got these really nice tabs here on the side to go ahead and pull everything out. There's a little hole right here on the bottom to go ahead and pull out the accessory box. And that's pretty much it. That'll automatically close back with the magnets, but we'll go ahead and get it out of here for now. And then we'll start with the accessory box here. Go ahead and open it up to see what we have inside. It's really nicely packed where nothing will move around. And of course, I just realized that it's plugged up there. So we got to pull the little tab here and then we can get everything out. We do have the power cord and the power brick. And so we should be able to get these things plugged up together. And we'll check the wattage here on the back so everybody can see that. Just in case you ever need a replacement in the future. Try and get that to focus here. We have 20 volt and 5 amps on the output. And then here's the model number if you ever need to find a second one of these. But here it is. Looks so good. That Red Dragon logo on the black case. We have those USB 3s in the front. The USB Cs and the headphone jack. Power button. Ventilation here on the sides. And on the back, we have that display, HDMI. There's those 2.0s. The 2.5 gigabit and the barrel jack. So it's pretty small. It's pretty bare minimum here. We'll go ahead and flip this over for you guys to see and you probably need to see it this way all right there we go there's the model number the mpc 745 it shows you the input that it needs and then we have the ryzen stickers plus this is serial number which you guys don't really need that you will have its own unique now what i love is they have the screws separately and you can mount it and you can easily access them not under any kind of stickers or anything like that now let's go ahead and peel back this thermal sticker so we can see underneath here the brand for the ssd and we have the nvme 3.0 information here and the uh, the type of ssd let's go ahead and get that back down i kind of smeared it a little bit but that's fine you can see the module itself is also an fn link for the wireless module so if you ever need that 